Calibrating the Gates PC707 crimper is a simple and necessary process to ensure proper and safe crimping. First, make sure the area under the pusher cup is clear of the die cone or die sets. To properly cycle a newly installed crimper, dial in a setting of 2.00 and run the crimper down to shut off with no die set loaded five times. To calibrate the machine, install the 733 die set and use any loose 8G mega crimp coupling to crimp. Set the digital readout setting to 5.20. Note that rotating the knob clockwise will increase the number, while rotating the knob counterclockwise will decrease the number. The readout figures may jump a number, like 5.20 to 5.19 or 5.21. This will not affect the crimp outside diameter. This is a good time to check that the crimp decals are up to date. If not, contact your local salesperson for the latest version or go to gates.com ecrimp to create, download, and print a custom chart. Make sure that the die cone is properly lubed with a thin coat of molly coat. Holding the threaded end of the coupling, insert the loose 8G mega crimp coupling into the die set with the shoulder of the coupling about 1 8 of an inch below the top of the die. Secure it with the die cone. Slide the die cone assembly under the ram until it stops against the back locating pins. Push the crimp button and hold. Release the button immediately when the pump stops. Remove the coupling and measure the crimp diameter, which should measure 1.000 inches, plus or minus 3 thousandths of an inch. To learn more about measuring crimp outside diameter, be sure to watch our video on the topic. If the ferrule crimp diameter is not acceptable, you will need to adjust the actuator rod. If it helps, make a mark on the actuator rod to keep track of any rotations you make. Hold the 1 and 1 16 inch actuator rod in place while loosening the 3 quarter inch lock nut. Rotate the actuator rod clockwise to increase crimp diameter, that is to make the crimp diameter larger, or rotate it counterclockwise to decrease crimp diameter, that is make the crimp diameter smaller. Then. Tighten the lock nut down, crimp a new 8G coupling, and measure the crimp diameter of the fitting to verify that you are within the acceptable limits. Now that your PC707 is calibrated, you're ready to crimp. To learn how to crimp with the PC707 or how to measure crimp diameter, check out our other PC707 videos. Contact your local Gates rep for more information, and thanks for watching.